Hello class! Welcome to Mrs. Lawson's outside math lesson. Today we have two learning goals. Our first learning goal is to count from 0 to 20 using even numbers. Also today we are going to learn to identify even and odd numbers. Are you ready? I have a board here that I'm going to have you take a look at. On my board, I have written the numbers 0, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, and 20. Those are not all of our counting numbers. Do you see that there are some numbers that are missing? But I bet that these numbers look familiar. Do you remember our skip counting song? I'm going to get our skip counting two out and we are going to practice skip counting by two. Let's begin. Sing with me. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen, twenty, twenty-two and twenty-four. Do you want to sing some more? Yes. All of these numbers are even numbers. Even numbers end with 0, 2, 4, 6, or 8. Do you see what numbers we've skipped over though? What number would usually come between 0 and 2? What was it? It's 1. You're right, and I'm going to make it tiny. Do you think you're going to be able to see it if I make it really, 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 really tiny? So we have zero and we're going to skip over our tiny one to two. And what is our tiny number? What number comes between two and four? You're right. It is the number three and I'm going to draw a teeny tiny little three. Can you see it? If I get really close. All right. So we have zero, two, four, six, one, three. Hmm. What number would come between four and six. It is the number five. You're right. And then what about the number between six and eight? It's seven. And then there's only one more number on this row. What number comes immediately after the number eight? You're right. It's nine, and I'll draw a tiny, tiny little nine. Then we have ten. What number comes between ten and twelve? It's eleven. I'm going to draw a little eleven. What number comes after twelve but before fourteen? It's thirteen, and I'm going to make it teeny tiny. What number comes after fourteen but before sixteen? Did you say 15? You would be right. And then after 16, but before 18, it is the number 17. Hmm, what comes after 18 but before 20? It's 19, and I'm going to draw a teeny, tiny 19 on the board. On our board here, my bigger numbers that I've drawn are our even numbers. And the teeny tiny numbers in between that we skipped when we were singing our skip counting song, those are our odd numbers. Let's take a look and see what they are. They're the numbers 1, 3, 5, 7, 9, 11, 13, 15, 17, and 19. Now I am outside on a beautiful day and I am going to collect some fun things that we can use for our counting. Why don't you collect some things as well? You could use things that you have right beside you like pencils or crayons, but if you went outside maybe you could find some little pebbles. Or if you went in the cupboard maybe you could find some macaroni. Or if you looked in your toy box you could find some Lego. Whatever it is, I'm going to have you find some little things that you can count so we can review our even numbers and our odd numbers.
All right, class, I am right down by the water. Do you see the waves coming up on the shore? Well, I thought that it would be fun to count and to look at some fun beach items. I have some shells here today and I have eight shells and we're gonna figure out if eight is even or odd. Let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I know that the number eight is an even number. I can count them by two. Two, four, six, eight. Eight shells is an even number. Hmm, what happens if I have another shell though? What if it's not eight shells? What if I have nine shells? If I put it on this side, it won't be even anymore. There'll be more on this side. I'll have one, two, three, four, five on this side and only one, two, three, four on that side. So it won't be even. An even number can be counted by two. Two, four, six, eight. Oh no, I only have one more. I can't count nine by two. Nine is an odd number. Hmm. What if instead of nine, I have 10? Is 10 an even number or an odd number? Two, four, six, eight, ten. Ten is an even number because each side has the same number. There's five on each side. All right, class. I found some rocks in the water. I have one, two, three, four, five rocks. Let's see if five is an even number or an odd number. One, two, three, four, with one left over. Mm, that kind of has to balance, doesn't it? The number five would not be even because I have an extra one on this side. There's three on this side, but only two there. It's not even. But if I had another, num another one, let's say I had six, then it would be even and we could count it by two. Two, four, six. If we wanted to make sure that all of our numbers were even, two, four, six, we could just add two to an even number. One, two. So instead of six, now we have eight. An eight would be an even number. And if we added two more to it, two, four, six, eight, ten, we would have another even number. And if we added two more to it, it would also be an even number. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. Even numbers always have buddies and we can count them by two. There's always the same number on each side or we can always just put them in to little groups of two. Odd numbers, we wouldn't be able to put them into even little groups of two because there would be an extra one. Class, you did a wonderful job today. You had two different learning goals. Our first learning goal was to learn to count from zero, zero to 20, counting our even numbers. And I know that you know how to do that because you know your skip counting song. Would you sing that song with me to review our counting? Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen, twenty, twenty-two, and twenty-four. Do you want to sing some more? Yes, of course we do. 
because singing helps us remember. We also had another learning goal today. And our learning goal was to know the difference between an even number, those were the big ones that I wrote down, and our odd numbers. I know that you're going to remember that an even number always has pairs or buddies, and an odd number hmm, always have one has one that's a little left out. I hope that you have a wonderful day practicing and counting your even numbers and your odd numbers today. Have a great day class. Bye-bye.